hey guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we're going to be making this glossy silky looking swiss meringue buttercream this is my favorite buttercream because it is so yummy easy to work with pliable and you can use it to make amazing creations first off i'm going to start by separating my eggs please note that the recipe will be in the description box i have a video on different ways to separate your egg your egg white from your egg yolk please check that out um, for this for the purpose of this video this is the method i am using now i'm just going to set aside my egg yolk and work with my egg white now i'm going to add my granulated sugar into my egg white mixture in my mixing bowl you can totally do it this way but i like to mix mine in a separate bowl then transfer later into my mixing bowl because i use the bowl to do a double boil i really do not like doing it in my mixing bowl because it takes time for it to cool down when it's time to add my butter this is the method i use and I do a double boil. I check through my silicone spatula if there are still sugar granules or I can dip my hand into the mixture and check the bowl, the down part of the bowl if there are still sugar granules. So I do it till we do not have any sugar granules look here when you don't do it well that's what it looks like but when you do it well this is the way it looks like this is the whisk attachment i'll be using to whip the meringue mixture but however i'm going to check my butter if it's perfectly ready so it has thawed and it's at room temperature so now i'm going to attach my balloon whisk to my mixer and whip my egg white and sugar mixture till it becomes a white meringue it's good to start off with low speed so you don't spill your mixture all over your environment then you increase gradually so when you have achieved a stiff peak this is what it should look like you should be able to turn the bowl upside down and it doesn't fall off and look at the stiff peak look at the peak over there that's how you know your meringue is ready then you check your bowl if it's still hot if it's not hot you can pop it into your fridge and cool it down before you start adding your butter here it's perfect it's good it's no longer warm or hot so it's time to start adding your butter when adding your butter it looks like your meringue is falling down please don't freak out it's totally normal keep adding your butter after that it starts to cuddle like you see in the video that's how you know you're doing the right thing it comes together this is so super yummy at this stage you need to scrape the sides in case you have any meringue sticking to the side of the bowl or at the down part of the bowl then you continue your mixing process at this stage you will totally properly incorporate all the meringue into the uh, Swiss meringue buttercream mixture After whipping with my balloon attachment, I'm going to take it off and add my paddle attachment, which is uh, bitter. Some people call it K-bitter, especially if you use Kenwood. So this is to beat out all the unnecessary air in the mixture. And by the time you're done whipping, the air, by the time you're done with this, you would notice there will be no air pocket. It will be so smooth and silky like you see in the video. Look at how smooth it is after using the paddle attachment. Even when I use my palette knife, it's so smooth and glossy. Just take a look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Isn't it lovely? 
look at how beautiful this is that is what you want your swiss marine butter cream to look like and you can also pipe with it yes very good for piping the best part of this butter cream is when it enters into the fridge it's so stable that you can touch it and it doesn't smudge that's how good the swiss marine butter cream is you can use it to make amazing creations designs you name it you can color these you can color it you can use it for filling you can use it to frost your cake you can do so many things with it the list is endless trust me this is my best butter cream this is when you say abby what butter cream do you like this is my best butter cream and when you're getting butter please note make sure it is explicitly stated there butter when you see things like D O U X, Vox, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, still check for butter. If you don't see butter anywhere, go to the ingredients. Make sure there are only two ingredients milk. Sometimes you see cream, they say 82%, then, the, or dairy milk, I guess, then lactic acid, lactic culture. I think that's the second uh, ingredient. But when you start seeing things like vegetable fat run, it's not butter. It is not butter. They might package it like butter. It's not butter. So this is how I package my... I've taken the amount I need and this is the remaining part. I can use it to decorate a cake. Maybe this one for fee for filling and prom crumb cutting and the other one for frosting a cake. So I'm just going to I use the clean film to tie it up. Then I'm going to put it in a ziploc bag. This is a very big ziploc bag. I'm still gonna use it that way to show you guys. So I'm gonna put it in the ziploc bag, then seal it properly, let out all the air and seal it properly. After I'm done sealing this after I'm done sealing this Ziploc bag, I'm going to transfer it into the fridge because in, I'm going to put it in the fridge in case I want to use it soon. It will take less time to thaw. But if you want to put it in the freezer, you know you'll be using it in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. If you want more videos, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and tell me the kind of video you like to see in the comment section. So I'll do well to make the video for you. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to share this video to somebody who needs it. The recipe will be stated in the description box below. Bye bye for now.